Yes, we got him. No. No! <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? So we're gonna be using the buffed Marques, or however you pronounce that, in the Hussar. So we're gonna try with them on the Spectre, and then also on the Riker here. So we have the Dragon Edition, they look cooler, but they don't make a difference. And we're gonna be using it with the Overdrive, so if you saw, they have a 10% damage buff. And I haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about this, so let's try it out, alright? So here we are on Castle Map. Um, let's drop in the Riker first, just because it's... It's got some speed. All right, we're moving, we're moving. And our ability has a 500 meter range, and I guess our weapons have a 600 meter. Oh, missed those shots. Okay, we're trying to do a little bit of damage. And it's a bit weird, when these weapons fire, they almost have like a bit of a visual gas effect or something. Alright, we're moving. We don't want to get too close, because remember, 500 meter range. Uh-oh. Shoot that guy underneath. Suppress some guys. Come on. Ooh. Oh! That was a sneeze. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that guy just disappeared. There he is. Oh, he's gonna he's probably gonna keep teleporting back. He's gonna hide and then come back and then hide and then come back. He's one of those guys. He's one of those scorpion guys. Okay, let's hit him. We, okay, we suppressed him. Here he is. Here he is! Come on, get him! Oh man, these weapons are very hard to use. Okay, we're gonna hit our healing. And remember, the Riker did get buffed, so our, our ability actually does 15% more damage. So, boom! There we go. Sorry, Scorpion. He thought we were gonna be an easy kill. Yeah, I was trying to make use of the ability for damage, because it does 15% more damage after that update. That was the Riker buff. Okay, let's move into center here. Boom. Alright. And taking... The Dragoon didn't get buffed, so just the light medium version did. Which is actually a bit interesting because not I don't think a whole lot of people use the Dragoon, but they I guess they don't want like Hawks using it and stuff like that. Okay, suppressed him. Shoot, shoot. That's the most annoying part about these weapons is when you run out of Boom! Rampage. That's pretty good. When you run out of um, ammo, like the reload on it for one shot is pretty long. Put us back up into this guy's shield. Protect us. We might have stole that kill, but we got a godlike nonetheless. Okay, let's ditch this Riker. We got 30,000 health left. Okay, let's put our Spectre to the test. Let's see if we had just kind of taken out anyways. Why is this thing so slow? This thing is like an old man, it can't... It looks like it's supposed to run, but it's just like, kind of... That's way too slow. Give this thing a speed buff, Pixonic. Holy moly. Here we go. Boom, there we go. Man, the sound of these weapons. Listen. Boom, that sound is pretty sweet. Oh no, another scorpion. So we do need our overdrive triggered, but I guess we need we can get a good sense of the weapon without the overdrive, because not everyone's gonna run three overdrives with them. That's pretty decent damage. It's definitely not underpowered, I don't think, in terms of damage. Like man, a full clip could almost wipe out most robots' health. Boom, can we get him? Nice, we curved it, we got him. We got him. An Arcanian drone, remember, 35% more damage when we hit our healing. But generally, I want to save my healing. Okay, 
moving. Man, I still can't understand why this Spectre is so slow. It looks like it's supposed to be running, but its feet just don't go move far enough. Okay, this guy can trigger our last stand. Let's use it, so... Come on, man, shoot us. Okay, now hit our healing. Oh, no, look at our healing. Oh, it just it went right above it. Oh, man, come on, shoot us one more time. Look at our healing. It's like a mill. It's a little bit over the threshold. Okay, we need someone to like shoot us once. Come on, somebody shoot us. This guy, this guy. Let's shoot at him. Annoying. Come on, man. Shoot. Shoot. Look at it. Is it triggered now? Okay, I think it's triggered now. On the far left side of the screen, you see the damage up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, let's other weapons load up. What is that underneath? Aminos? The game is pretty close right now. I haven't really been paying attention, but it is like 5 on 5, 4 and a half minutes left. Close game. But I think we're doing enough right now where we don't have to ditch this robot just yet. Maybe soon, but not yet. Jeez, even against a Titan, these things don't look like they do as much damage. Well, of course, because Titans have so much durability. I still think they should have made it where you can only drop in your Titans in like the last two or three minutes of the game. Because then everyone can drop it in at once, and then you're not having these weird things where you have like an Arthur versus a, I don't know, a Phantom or something. Where it's just an uneven matchup. Oh, can we get this guilt? Yes, we got him! No! No! <laughs> it was our suicide jump. We got the kill. But what did it cost? Everything. Okay, probably a good thing anyways. Now we can get out of that robot. Three and a half minutes left. Close game. We're down on the beacon bar bit. Okay, let's teleport over there. Can we heal our teammate? Well, oh, I'm going to fall off. That was close. That was close. Okay, here we go. Boom, there we go. Jeez, our teammate. Maybe ditch that robot. Unless it's your last robot, man. You got one weapon and, like, no health. Boom, double kill. Let's see if we can push their home beacon, because they're getting three beacons right now. Okay, um, I... We probably shouldn't push that too much, because... Might be a little bit tough to take down an Arthur. Okay, let's help out our team and let's teleport. Ooh, they're pushing our home. We gotta defend this. We gotta defend this big time. Take this Nightingale. Nightingale can be extremely annoying at the end of the game. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, they don't drop in support. This must be my teammate's last robot. Like, why is he still in that? He's got one Devastator and, like, no shield. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ditch this and just drop it in our Titan. Our Nodens. Suppress him. Rocket time. Boom! There we go. That worked out well. For now. Okay, is it 4 on 2 right now? They do have a Beacon Bar lead, though, here. Like, we definitely have to get beacons. We might need four beacons right now. With that much of a beacon lead. The minute and a half left. Oh, that was late. Why did that guy take so long to drop in? Okay, we're going to suppress him. Oh my god, he's going to get torn apart too. Jeez. I know my teammate kind of helped me a little bit there, but... If you can suppress that Arthur and unload a full rocket clip onto him, it's tough for them to survive. That was crazy. Oh, cloaking unit. I'm kind of surprised at how many people use the cloaking unit. I never found it that useful. Oh, let's help our teammate. Heal. Suppress that guy. And the nodes are so useful for that. You can almost, like, manipulate matchups on the field. If your teammate's in it, heal him, suppress the other guy, heal him more. But yeah, the cloaking unit, I just, 
I don't know, it's just kind of annoying that it randomly gets triggered even when you're just shot a bit sometimes. Triple kill? Is that it? Do we win? 39, 27... Uh, I think we did it. We did it! Boom! That was a pretty good game. Let's use that game for sure. Nice. What kind of damage? We must have done pretty decent. 4.4 million, 5 beacons. Jeez, our team had 7 beacons, 6 beacons, 5 beacons, a lot of beacons. Nice. Okay, guys, so here's another clip of the Spectre Hussar. Take that guy out. Moving from the far left beacon here. And I think this is which... Oh, that Falcon up top. And this is... Oh, can we move towards home? And this is with the Silverbird skin as well, so... That's going to give us 5% more durability. And I kind of forgot to tell you guys, if you don't already know, the Legendary Pilot of the Spectre, when you jump, you get an increase in damage. I think it's like 5 or 10%. Actually, it's 7.5%, so that's good to know. Okay, let's see if we can jump up here. This is a good spot for the Spectre when you have, like, ranged weapons. There's not a whole lot of robots can get up here. But we need our overdrive triggered first. That's the key. Ooh, okay. This Ares hit his uh, shield. Come on, shoot us. We need enough. Ooh, okay, we don't want to take too much damage. Another healing. Okay, boom. This is perfect. Just take him out. Okay, now we're going to heal up, but it's going to be under our overdrive. So we have a 75% boost right now. Ooh, okay, we don't want this... We really don't want to give up this beacon, so let's jump back and see if we can get him. Boom, there we go. There we go. And yeah, I'm telling you, this thing is... Like, why is the speed so weird on it? The Spectre is not a strong robot. I don't know why it's not faster. And this is with boost boosters and pilot skills. Like, come on, man. Like, Sonic, help this thing out. Why is this guy shooting at me? Okay, let's try to get back up to the top. So we can probably... We can probably help out more when we're up there. Jeez. You can see how much durability that Fenrir really has. Even with all these boosters and pilot skills and overdrive, it still absorbs that damage. See what I'm talking about? When you run out of ammo, the interval between that, between those shots, is pretty long. Ooh, okay. Uh oh. This isn't looking good. Are they taking our home beacon right now? Okay, we're gonna have to ditch this thing in a couple seconds. That's a shell bot, you can tell by the ability and the symbol on top. Yeah, so I tried on the Aoming here and then the game's ended. The rest of the game was kind of a dud. So guys, this was the Spectre Hussar buff with the Marquez on the um what's it called? The Riker. So thanks for watching the video guys. And what do you guys think about those weapons? Good and need more buff, need less buff. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, peace. Thanks for watching.